Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we're making number 280 granny square of our 365 days of granny squares. Getting down to it everybody, the days are just going by so fast. We are making today's square called Sublime Light. It is a written pattern on my website yarnutopia.com. This is just a very quick pattern today. We are using a lot of single crochets, these cluster stitches, a lot of chaining and slip stitching to make this really fun fancy design and it's very bright and beautiful. I'm using a lot of yellow tones today, just feeling so bright today, so fabulous. And uh, these are all Red Heart Super Saver yarns. You can see the four colors I am using here. Uh, these are just uh, yellow tones of Red Heart Super Saver. That's a size uh, four medium worsted weight yarn. Uh, you can use any double knitting or worsted weight yarn that you have scraps of. These are just small amounts, just little tiny scraps that I have lying around uh, in my scrap basket so you don't need a whole lot of yarn for this square. This square turned out to be six inches, so uh, if you want to use a smaller or bigger hook to make this the size you need to, or you can omit rounds or change rounds to make them shorter, um, especially this last round I used double crochet, but you could use single crochets if you want to. I'm demonstrating this square in an H size crochet hook, which is five millimeters, so make sure you have that handy, as well as a yarn needle and a scissor, because we'll be cutting our yarn and sewing in our ends and these tools come in handy in the whole project of the 365 days of granny squares and before we start I have to mention there are links in the description of this video so there is a link to the written pattern for this granny square that will go to yarnutopia.com and you will find the link also at the bottom of the 365 days of granny squares page so you can find that there also there's also a link to my Facebook and Instagram make sure to join me there like my page on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Snapchat, and if you post a photo on Instagram, make sure to hashtag 365 days of granny squares, hashtag yarn utopia so I can see your square as well. I'll go double tap it and like it. There'll be a big heart on it. It'll be beautiful. So Thank you so much for watching. Before we start, uh, one last thing. I have to say a big thank you to my dad, Fouad Azmet, for taking the time to make this video with us. He is our videographer, editor, and photographer for all of our videos. So, subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. You're already on YouTube. Just log into your account, hit the red subscribe button, and if you have a moment, click that I in the corner of this video, or go to our channel and hit the blue support button, and support Yarn Utopia today so that we can keep continuing to bring you these wonderful crochet tutorials, because I absolutely love it. And I love seeing your work on social media every day, so share your photos as well. So now let's get started and make number 280 granny square. Let's start out by making a slip knot. So put your short end over your long end, then fold this down. Oh my goodness, there we go. And then pull that through <laughs> and pull tight. Okay, let's start. Put your hook in the loop, pull that tight, and chain four. So yarn over, pull through, one, yarn over, pull through, two, three, and four. And then we're going to slip stitch to the first chain way over here. So go in, and then yarn over and pull through and through for a slip stitch. And now we've created a ring. If you know how to start with the magic ring, you can start that way as well. <laughs> now we're going to go right into round number one. We're going to chain up one, and then we're going to put 12, I'm sorry, we're going to put 12 single crochets into the ring. So go into the ring, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, that's a single crochet. So again, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. That's two. Go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So that's three. Okay, this is four. Oh my goodness. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 
and 12. I promise the next few rounds and every round after this is going to be much easier. You can see I just kind of pulled that straggler in the back because I was working over the top of it and I pulled it tight so that uh, center ring there kind of closes up. And now we're going to slip stitch to the first single crochet right here. So if you need to count back 12 and it should lead you to this first single crochet right in there, just go in, yarn over, pull through, and through for a slip stitch. Now at this point, if you're not changing color, uh, just hold on and go on to the next round with me, but I'm actually going to change color. So I'm going to chain one and cut this, pull it through and pull tight. I suggest you do change color so that this next round you will see it, uh, the stitches around. We're going to be slip stitching around. So what we need to do, I'm going to grab a different yarn. You can start in any stitch around, so I'm just going to start right in that same one there. I'm going to hook that yarn on my hook and pull it through. Okay, and that's all we're going to do there. Then we're going to go into the next stitch and then yarn over and pull through and pull through the loop on your hook, but don't pull too tight. Okay, and kind of pull up that loop. And we're slip stitching in each stitch around. So go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through and pull through. Go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through and through. So we're just slip stitching around. Okay, just like this. So you'll have 12 slip stitches. Round three is going to be worked into the stitches of round one. So you still want there to be room in those stitches. So we're just going to be slip stitching around just like this. And I'm actually almost there. So I'll just show you what to do after because we're actually going to do some different type of fastening off to make it look natural. Whoopsie. Here. Okay, I have one last slip stitch to go. Just like that. Now... Instead of going underneath this slip stitch and then, um, you know, fastening off and everything, what we're going to do is actually cut this yarn a little bit longer, okay? And we're going to continue to pull that through. So you see we made that slip stitch, we're just going to continue to pull that through. Then what we're going to do is grab our yarn needle and yarn our needle with that little straggler there. And we're going to do something similar to like the invisible join. So we're going to go here underneath this part right here. Underneath these two loops, we're going to go underneath them just like that. Go back around. Okay, like that. Then we're going to go in the center of this one where this line is coming out of right here. We're going to go back into there. Okay, and then through our piece. Okay, all the way through and make a little stitch. So it looks like there's a stitch there. Awesome! Then what we're going to do back here is tie these two just once. I'm just going to tie them just like that. And that secures them. Okay? And then we're going to sew in those ends a little later. So that was round two. Very simple. Now, it's not going to unravel, so don't worry about that. But now what we're going to do is actually work in the stitches of round one still. So you did slip stitch in them, but now we're going to attach our yarn to any of the stitches around, any one of them, just like that. Okay, so you can just insert your hook into a stitch from round one. And then we're going to go on to round three now. So round three, we are going to, I'm going to hook on a new color, hook on a new yarn there, pull it through, and then chain up one. So yarn over and pull through. Okay. And then for round three, we just have to put two single crochets into each stitch around. So go back into that same stitch. Okay. Then yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. And again, go back in. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. So now there's two single crochets in that one stitch. And again, we're working in the stitches of round one. So this next stitch right here, we're going to go in for two single crochets. Okay, so at the end of round three, we'll have 24 single crochets. So this next stitch right here. So you can kind of pull these slip stitches forward like this. So you can see your, your stitch back there. Okay, and just work 
two single crochets into each stitch. So then I'll just meet you up at the end of round three once you have your 24 single crochets. It might be a little bit tougher, uh, tighter stitching because of those slip stitches already being worked into those stitches around, but if you can get around them, uh, that's good. Uh, or you can work in the back loops only. So you can see here there's a back loop here. You can work in that as well. So if you're, if you're having difficulty working underneath both loops, of this round you can work under uh, or in just the back loop only but uh, just have 24 stitches around and then I'll meet you up for round four all right so now I have my 24 single crochets we're gonna slip stitch to the first one right here so go in to the very first single crochet of this round right there go in yarn over pull through and through now, if you're not changing color and going on to the next round, just chain up, let's see, one, and go on to round four with me. But I'm going to chain one and cut my yarn, pull it through and pull tight. And if you're changing color, you can start in any stitch around. So I'm just going to start right where we left off there. And I'm going to add a different color. Hook that on the hook and pull it through and then chain one. Now we're going to single crochet into the same stitch. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, that's a single crochet. Then we're going to chain two, one and two. We're gonna skip this next stitch right here and we're gonna single crochet into the next stitch. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And then we're just going to repeat that around. So chain two, one, two, skip the next stitch, and then single crochet into the next stitch. Then chain two, skip the next, single crochet in the next. Okay, so just do that all the way around, and then I'll meet you up for round five. All right, finishing this round, make sure to chain two, and then slip stitch to the first single crochet of this round. So right in there, yarn over, pull through, and through. Now if you're not changing color, slip stitch into this chain two space and then chain up three and go on to the next round with me. But I'm gonna chain one and cut this yarn, pull that through and pull tight. For round five, we are going to uh, start in any one of these chain two spaces. So I'm just gonna go right into there and pull this through, the new color through, just like that. And then chain up three. So yarn over, pull through, one, two, and three. Okay, now in the same space we're going to make a beginning cluster stitch. So a beginning cluster stitch starts out like this. Yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Then yarn over, go back in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Okay, and then one more time, yarn over, go back in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. So now we have four loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through all four of those loops. Okay, and that's our beginning cluster stitch. Now we're going to chain three, one, two, and three, and we're going to put a cluster stitch in the next chain space here. So yarn over, go into that chain space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. And one more time, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. So now, a regular cluster stitch, you're going to end up with five loops on your hook. Then yarn over and pull through all five of those loops, and then chain three. One, two and three. So now what we're going to do is cluster stitch in each chain two space and then chain three in between them. So again I'll show you a regular cluster stitch. Yarn over, go into the chain two space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and again, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through all five of the loops on your hook, and then chain three. All right, so just do that all the way around, and then I'll meet you up for the next round. 
When you make your last cluster stitch, make sure to chain three and then slip stitch to the beginning here. Now you can, uh, what I usually show you to do is actually slip stitch into this cluster stitch right here. But what I learned is actually if you slip stitch to the first chain of this chain three space here, right after a cluster stitch, it makes it a cleaner stitch. So if you go into that first chain right after the cluster, then yarn over and pull through and through, okay? It makes the cluster stitch look a lot cleaner just like the rest of these. So that was just a little trick I had. And then um, I'm gonna fasten off here. If you're not changing color and going on to the next round, just slip stitch into this chain space here and then uh, go on to the next round with me. But I'm gonna chain one. I already cut my yarn here, so I'm just gonna pull that through and pull it tight, okay? And now going on to round six, if you're changing color like me, you can start in any chain three space. Okay, so I'm gonna go right in here and I'm gonna hook on my yarn. And then going on to round six, we need to chain five. So yarn over and pull through one, two, three, four, and five. And then what we're going to do is slip stitch back into that same chain three space. So go in, yarn over and pull through, and then also put pull through that loop on your hook. Okay, just like that. Then we're gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna hop to the next chain three space and slip stitch in there. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Then chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then slip stitch back into that same space. So go back in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two or sorry, just pull through all the way. Slip stitch, you guys, slip stitches, not single crochets. I'll show you again. So we're just gonna repeat. So chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch into the next chain space. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and then slip stitch into the same space. Then chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Insert your hook in the next chain space. Yarn over, pull through and through chain five, three, four, five, slip stitch back in there. So go back in, yarn over, pull through and through. Okay, so we're making a bunch of these little chain five spaces all the way around, just like that. So then I will just repeat that all the way around and then I'll meet you up for the next round. When you chain your last five here, we have to slip stitch into this first chain of our beginning chain five right here. So go in, then yarn over and pull through, and then pull through, okay? Then we're going to, I'm gonna fasten off here. If you're not changing color, uh, fasten off anyway, because you're gonna have to slip stitch back into the center of this um, chain five space, or any chain five space above a cluster stitch. So I'm just gonna fasten off regardless if I change color or not. So chain one, cut that, pull it through, and then pull tight and then we'll sew in that end in a minute, okay? You should have 24 chain five spaces around. I highly suggest counting because I have screwed up and only did uh, one slip stitch in the chain space and then gone to the next and went to uh, like to the next and the next and I, I skipped a few, so I ended up with a, a few less than last time. Uh, looking at this too right now, it actually looks like a if I did all white, if I used all white color, it would look like a snowflake, which actually looks really pretty. But we need to make this into a square now. So let's make the square shape. Like I said earlier, we wanna start this next round, round seven, in any chain five space above a cluster stitch. Okay, so you see there's a chain five space here above a cluster stitch. So I'm just gonna go right into this one since I'm here. And I need to grab this color here, hook it on the hook and pull it through. And then chain up three. So yarn over, pull through, one, two, and three. Now that's gonna count as our first double crochet of this round. In the same chain five space, we are going to put three double crochets. So yarn over, go back into the same chain five space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, that's a double crochet. Again, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. 
and again, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then we're going to chain two, one, two, and we're going to still put more stitches in there, so we might need to scoot these over just a little bit here. Okay, there we go. And we need to put four more double crochets in there. So one, two, three, and four. And that is our corner of our square. So it looks like there's four double crochet, chain two, and four double crochet. Now we're going to chain one, so yarn over, pull through, one. And then we're going to single crochet into this next chain five space. So just go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, two. Then we're going to chain two, one and two, and we're going to single crochet into the next chain five space. Then chain two, one, two, and then single crochet into the next chain five space. Then again, chain two, one, two, single crochet in the next chain five space. And again, chain two, one, two, and single crochet in the next chain five space. Okay, so we did that five times. One, two, three, four, five. Now we just have to chain one, so yarn over, pull through, one. And in this next chain five space above this cluster right here, we're going to make our next corner. So we're going to put four double crochets. Okay, so one, two, three, and four. Then chain two, one and two. And then four more double crochets in that same space. One, two, three, and four. And there's our next corner. So now we're just going to repeat what we did on this side, okay, in this corner, on each side and each corner around. So I'll show you again, chain one, then single crochet in this next chain five space. Okay, then chain two, single crochet in the next chain five space, chain two, single crochet in the next chain space, chain two, single crochet in the next chain space, chain two, single crochet in the next chain space. So there should be five single crocheted. One, two, three, four, and five. Then chain one and make your corner in the next chain space right above this cluster stitch. Okay, so that's four double crochets, chain two, and four double crochets. If you need to, follow along with a written pattern. Otherwise, I will meet you up at the end of this round and we'll go on to our last round together. When you single crochet into this last chain five space here, we have to chain one and then slip stitch to the chain up three right here of our beginning corner. So go one, two, three, right at the top of that chain. Just go in and then yarn over and pull through and pull through. Now at this point I am going to change color, so I'm going to fasten off. Um, if you are not changing color, what you need to do is slip stitch into these next three stitches and into this chain space here, and then chain up three and go on to round eight. But I'm going to chain one here and cut this yarn, pull it through and pull tight. If you're changing color, slip stitch or start in any corner space. So I'm just going to go right into this corner here and picking up a different yarn hooking it on the hook and pulling it through, and then chain up three. One, two, and three. And that counts as our first double crochet of this round. And in the same corner space, we're going to double crochet. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Then we're going to chain two, one, two, and in the same space, we're going to put two more double crochets. So one, and two. All right, now we are going to double crochet into this very next stitch right here. So yarn over, go into the very first stitch on this side, okay, and make a double crochet in there. Then we're going to chain one, we're going to skip this next stitch, and we're going to double crochet into the next stitch. Then we're going to chain one, skip this next stitch, and then double crochet into this chain one space. Then chain one, then double crochet in the next chain two space, 
then chain one, double crochet in the next chain two space, then chain one, double crochet in the next chain two space, and then chain one, double crochet in the next chain two space, and chain one, then double crochet in this chain one space here, and then chain one, skip this double crochet here, and double crochet into this next stitch right here, and then chain one, and double crochet into the last stitch on this row, so or on the side. So skip this next one and double crochet in the last stitch on the side. Then in the corner here, we're just gonna put two double crochets, then chain two, and then put two more double crochets in there. Okay, and then we're just going to repeat what we did for this whole side and this corner for each side and each corner. So double crochet in the first stitch, then chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet in the chain one space. Chain one, and double crochet in the next chain two space. And then chain one, so we're just double crocheting and chaining one and making sure that we get all of our double crochets into the chain spaces just like this. And then when we come to this next corner here, we're gonna chain one, skip this stitch, double crochet in this next stitch. Then chain one, skip this next stitch, and double crochet in this last stitch on this side. And then in the corners, we're putting two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. So just do that all the way around, and then I'll meet you up when we are about to fasten off. When you're finished, make sure to double crochet into the very last stitch on your last side, and then slip stitch to the first chain up three right here. Just insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and through. And now we can fasten off. So chain one, cut your yarn, pull it through, pull tight, and sew in your ends. But there it is, number 280, Granny Square, complete. It's so fabulous. Thank you so much for watching today and learning how to make this fun sublime light square that's so sunshiny and beautiful. So thanks again for watching everyone. Make sure to share your photos on the Facebook, Instagram, hashtag 365 Days of Granny Squares. Tell me what you liked about this square. Check it out on the website yarnutopia.com so that I can get that view. Haha, <laughs> thank you for views every single day. You guys are so awesome. I will see you tomorrow. Happy hooking!